tent has been out here for three days because we had light rain for a couple days, heavy for a couple hours, then light rain, then mist, then light. It's been on and off and on and off. I just want to show you the outside right now. Now I want to be very clear. I do expect this tent to have failed somewhere along the line. I'm just curious to where it has failed. Can it be, is it failed someplace where it can be fixed or not? But I'm very curious of that. I'll trace it down the best I can to see if I can find out where the failure is because the whole floor could be wet. I don't know. So let's go. Okay, guys, I got the camera pointed right at the opening. Let's see together. Open it up. Fold that back. Open it up. Fold that back. <sighs> now, I see some gnats on the screen, but they didn't get in. That's good because the gnats are bad because of this humidity. God. Let's open her up. You've got to be kidding me. All right, I see a little water, but guys, I was expecting to see a lot more water than this. Wow. All right, I'm gonna say I'm impressed, first of all. <clears throat> it looks like, it looks like it's failed at the corners. All right, this thing is gonna be a pain today, I see. Turn my light on. Let's go in. All right, now, if you guys can see, there's water here, okay? But it's failed at the corner, and it's just here. I have some water over here, and I bet you that is failed around that pocket. There is no water back there. There's no water back there, and there's no water anywhere else in this tent. I am shocked. The walls aren't wet. Wow. I was not expecting that. <laughs> was not expecting that. As I'm inside the tent, it's extremely hot in here. <laughs> I'm still shocked. There's no failures on any of these tape scenes. There's a failure at that corner, and there's a failure at where the gear caddy is on the side. I'm shocked. Didn't expect that. Sorry for the train. Didn't expect that. Now, I want to be clear. Basically, just camped in this tent and just to show it as for fun. I wouldn't recommend this tent for anything other than backyard camping and maybe putting it up in a bedroom for some kids to play in as a play tent. You can camp in it. Be aware there's a failure possibility. I am shocked that it didn't leak as bad as I supposed it was going to. I mean, I did the go next tent and that thing failed beyond belief. The water was everywhere in that tent. This one just had two failures, one on a corner, one on a gear caddy. I can't say that other expensive tents haven't failed like that, but due to the lack of ventilation in this tent, I wouldn't use it in any warm weather. Will not take a snow load. Uh, could possibly stand up to some light winds, not much. It all comes down to experience. If you're gonna spend the money, buy a real good tent, this is more like a fun play around tent, maybe a play tent for kids. Just be careful. I want Basically, I'm doing these videos like this just to show you the danger of some of the inexpensive tents. They can be good, can be bad. To each their own. You can camp in it. Better be nice weather. Better be breezy. And uh, from right now, it better not rain. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Something fun to do once in a while. I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Bye.